Hello and welcome to the Yeah Maybe podcast, the podcast to end and begin all podcasts. Today, we are going to talk about some things, and you are going to have a great time here with me, James Heishman, and this person over here, Lee Ellickson. What else do you want me to say? Please, pretty, pretty please, make sure to like and the... Oops. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. As some would say, smash that like button. I don't know what they say about the sub button. Hit that one with a brick. And also, turn on notifications because we never know when we're gonna be posting or what time. So the best time to know, or the best way to know is to just have a notification turned on. Also, leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. Lee reads all of those and reports them to the government. So, Lee? Do you want me to say something? I don't care what you do. Let's just Just not that. No. Do you think that's funny? That one was, yeah. (laughs) I listened to it in our last podcast and didn't think it was funny. Did you? I'd rather not answer that. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome to the pod. Okay. Uh, Thank you, everybody, for being here. Just Um, the two of us. It's us and then everyone else. We are podcasting from the sky. Just the two of us. (laughs) But I can't make water noises. Yeah, we're gonna go over some peaks and pits today on this podcast. You know, good old peaks and pits. We are also going to talk about. Don't tell me. I'm going to recall from memory some of our trips that Lee and I have been on. Maybe together, maybe not. We're both well traveled. Excuse me, James. You're excused. Do you think the camera's too high up? (laughs) (laughs) I think I look miniature. You look little. Okay. I don't know if it's because of... Okay. Look, she traveled from here to there and back. Um, And then after that, we're going to talk about some reviews of places. Or do you want to do it in the reverse order? I don't care. I don't care. I want to talk about stories first. Fine. Um, She said she didn't care. Is it crooked? Yes, it is. (laughs) Are we zoomed in? More than usual? Now I got that song stuck in my head. Yeah. No, I switched them. I thought I did because... Um, We're back. Uh, we had some technical <laughs> difficulties. I typically deal with all the camera stuff. It was James's first day setting up the camera stuff, so... You also could have just... He did his best. ...left it neutral and said, are we together collectively as a group? James did all the work setting up the podcast, and that's what he did right. But he just didn't know (laughs) about how the camera works. I know how cameras work. He didn't know how this camera works. I know how this camera works. How does it work? When you turn it on, it will record whatever's in front of it. does sound like you know how it works. Is that you? That was me. Why does your vibrate sound like it vibrates the house? I don't know. Did you hear it over there earlier? Yeah, it sounds like it's an earthquake. Yeah. I don't know what we were talking about, but I think we were going to get into peaks and pits. Yeah, we haven't talked about anything yet. And we were talking about if we wanted to do the reviews or our traveling stories first. Traveling stories, then reviews. Okay. Okay. I don't have any traveling stories. I didn't write anything down. You have them though. Yeah, but like I didn't prep any. I didn't either. I'm just going to start talking. So what did you write in your notes? All right. First, peaks and pits. Okay. Lee, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? It doesn't matter to me. I'll go first. My pit is uh, my back kind of hurts. I don't like it. Lee might not be able to tell too much. Because, like, technically I can do everything just fine, but I'm being careful. It doesn't hurt when I'm working out or lifting anything or doing anything weird, but I'm paying very close attention because I feel like if I were to do something bad, it'd go out. 
You have been talking about it a lot more lately, which means it hurts. I just thought it was going to go away by now. So did I. So now I'm just stretching and doing things that I did before last time I hurt my back. I'll also just stress anything you say. Anything? You'll be like, oh, I think it's going to go away. And then I don't think about it anymore. I think everything's going to go, go away. Yeah. That's a short little pit in my peak. Short little. Like Toady. He's not that little. He's um, short. My peak is, hold on. I got this plant. <laughs> It's called a uh, Himalaya mix. How would you say this? Jasena. I'm gonna Jasena. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got it from IKEA. We live close to an IKEA, and they sell plants there. Mm-hmm. You want to hold it? Mm-mm. I'm scared I'll break it. No. Go ahead. No, you don't. Don't pick it up from there. <laughs> How's it feel? These are what turn into like those trees. With those thick stumps. Are you kidding me? No. Should we look up a picture? I just bought a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it just stays like this. But more leaves. You're kidding, right? No. You're Please. kidding me. Yeah. Not that. That's taco. This is it. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Will it just be one stump? Probably. I didn't know that. Yeah, it turns into a tree. I thought it stayed like this forever. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a plant that turns into something else. <laughs> I mean, it's still a plant. Well, yeah, I do like it turning into a turtle. No, but like that plant, it just stays like that. And a succulent just stays that like a succulent. turned into a tree. Hmm. That's my peak in my, my pit. Cool. My pit is about pumpkin. I have been giving Toadie a tablespoon oh. of pumpkin with all of his meals. I'll also hide pills in pumpkin. Anyways, I have pumpkin cans in my fridge, and I use the silicone cap on the cans when I'm just storing it in the fridge. And I don't know what was what was going on this particular day, but I typically will put the cap on from the front to the back, and it's pretty tight. Oh, I know what you're going to say. So one day... I was flustered. I don't know. I was doing everything wrong. I tried to put it on from the back to the front, but I didn't get it all the way on the front, so it turned into a slingshot, <laughs> and it flung onto the floor and got all over my favorite socks, just like wet, cold pumpkin. Ugh. And part of my favorite socks is white. Do they clean up? Uh, I don't know yet. I, I rinsed them, but I didn't, haven't washed them. So like, I put on those socks that morning. Like, yes, I get to wear my favorite socks. And I didn't get to wear my favorite socks. You did for a little. I did for a little, for maybe 30 minutes. Some people don't even get that. You're right. So that was my pit. I have three different peaks, but two of them are related. Okay, okay. One is that we've been going on pretty long walks lately. Even though it's cold, I don't always have someone who's willing to walk in any sort of cold with me. So it's nice that James has been around to walk with me in the cold. And he doesn't complain one bit. It's such Uh, a treat. Not at all anyone i walk with in the cold they're like pretty cold huh we walked for what an hour plus yesterday mm-hmm. and even at the end i'm like i think i can walk forever mm-hmm. just forever toady cannot toady no. couldn't couldn't make it he gets tired also i feel like i've seen a lot of sunsets lately we've yeah. seen some really pretty sunsets not great views of them but still nice we went to a friend's giving on thanksgiving yeah, this bug's been in my studio for like a week. I, I've seen him. Yeah, he hangs out near there and on the curtains with the ladybug. Yeah. I think someone told me to kill that kind of bug. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. Um, someone was like, they're invasive. You need to kill them. Oh, he, <laughs> he's scared of the camera. <laughs> oh, we had a friend's giving and it was so fun. It was so fun. We have a friend who is a setter at a rock climbing gym oh, in yeah. our area and... He also has keys to that gym and they were also closed on Thanksgiving. So he got us in with a few other friends and we just climbed and we got to sport climb, Mm -hmm. which is climbing on ropes higher, which is my favorite kind of climbing, which I don't do a lot. It was so fun. 10 out of 10. Then James made guacamole. Really good guacamole. He's never made guacamole before. He did all by himself. He made up the recipe. He cut everything so confidently. Didn't ask me a single question. He cut onions like I've never seen anyone cut onions before. And he like picked out the perfect knife to cut tomatoes and knew exactly how much to put in the guacamole of each ingredient. Oh, I mean, that's... I've never seen anything like it. 
Well, he told me like four different times to put more tomatoes in. <laughs> <laughs> Is that enough? I, ta- I talked him through it, yeah. but he did it. And when we got there, all of our dishes went so well together. So well. Our friends made some mashed potatoes, which I typically hate mashed potatoes. Me too. And I use the word hate pretty seriously. I don't want them. I don't want them. But these mashed potatoes kind of tasted like stuffing. Yeah. And they weren't creamy. They were more mashed. They weren't Mm -hmm. creamed potatoes. Like whip? Yeah. Ew. (laughs) They were vegan mashed potatoes. And then our other friend made vegan mac and cheese. I made a really good salad. James made the guacamole. And our other friend made some air fried cauliflower. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was so good. It was so good. I had leftovers for two days and they were the best Thanksgiving. I didn't get any of those leftovers. Yeah. You were eating your mom's leftovers. You didn't even offer me though. You ate lunch before me. So you just kind of chose. I was being nice. Oh. Yeah. It was really good. That Mm -hmm. was a good peak. Mm. I liked rock climbing too. I love rock climbing. Do I like bouldering? It's okay. I like it. Do I love it? No. Sport climbing's fun. Sport climbing's fun. Bouldering is disenchanting. No workout. Barely. If you're making it a workout. Okay. Do you have travel stories? Because I don't. Yeah, I do. You do? Well, Lee, first off, where have you been? <laughs> I've never gone anywhere. Where have you been? Just all the places I've ever been? Yeah, name them all. I can't. Okay, I'll name them. I've never been to the West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> The furthest west I've ever been is Colorado. Pretty good. Yeah. And that was within the last two, three years. Mm -hmm. I love Colorado, but not the buildings. I hear that complaint from a lot of people, actually. I think if you grew up on the East Coast, where there's older homes, older roads, buildings, like architecture, and then you go to Denver, Colorado, and everything's new, it's just kind of whatever. And they all have those like dumb stones on the side of like, the houses and stuff, which that's cool if you like that, but what I do you don't. Mean by dumb stones, you mean fake stones? Yeah. Yeah. Why does everything have to look like rocks? Rocks are from Colorado. Mm, they didn't have any bricks. They love rock. Hmm. Yeah, I went. If you're with... from Colorado, comment down below and tell us that you love rock. Yeah. Also, let me know if there's any good buildings to look at. I went to Denver and Boulder, and I just felt like everything looked the same. There was like one in Boulder, Colorado. It was kind of pretty, I think, because it's like a college area and there were some things, but it's mainly just for like the mountains and being outside. Do you want those headphones on? Why do I look sleepy? Uh, I was just wondering because you said you weren't going to wear them. No, I want them. They make me feel at home. But yeah, I went there for a week and it was wild. Uh, <laughs> I guess I can talk about it. Um, I went with my x did you think of something no just keep going <laughs> <laughs> what are you counting nothing you're counting something you'll figure it out i never already know what it is <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> i'm gonna count those too <laughs> i went to denver colorado with my girlfriend at the time and she had moved out to kansas city which is about halfway between Cincinnati and Denver, Colorado. So we decided to go to Denver, Colorado on a trip. I think it was the day before I was going. She was like, hey, do you mind if my friend goes? I was like, I guess that's fine. So we did that. And then on the way there, what? So? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, On the way there, she decided it would be a cool idea to drive 125 on the highway for most of the time. In her Nissan Versa. Wait, he's not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. She had it floored the whole time. I've never been in a floored vehicle like that. I tried to reason with her and it was impossible. (laughs) I couldn't. So I just had to accept my fate that I'm in this missile of a car, which (laughs) is supposed to be going 65 to 70 and we're going to 125. And she had always bragged about never getting tickets. Well, she got one. Uh, (laughs) She got it marked down to 100, I think. Um, Because 125 is a felony. It's reckless operation. What if I said? Uh. Oh. I don't even know um. it. 
<laughs> that doesn't count. <clears throat> she was driving so fast. <laughs> I want to say it so. Um, <laughs> they're not going to get them, though. <laughs> I'll leave them in for this. This story. is for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't care about the viewers right now. And listeners, of course. Shout out to the listeners. Yeah, forget you guys. Comment down below if you're a listener. How do you start a sentence? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and, and you wouldn't believe it. And you wouldn't believe it. We got to Denver, Colorado. Oh, yeah. no. what I was, I'm going to forget you because I can't concentrate on that. <laughs> um, <laughs> she was wondering why she was getting such bad gas mileage. I was like, Naomi, you're going twice the speed limit. You're going to get, it was like the car was floored. You're going to get 15 miles a gallon in your Nissan Versa going to Denver, Colorado. Um, go ahead. I said, um. Sorry. The, <laughs> that was a the. I'm just waiting. You don't take a break without an um. And we and you're then just changing the arrived <laughs> to Denver, Colorado. It was a fun week, besides the fact that for some reason she was being really weird and we weren't talking much and we she, were in the car. She was trying to kill you. Yeah, she tried to kill me in the car multiple times. She just would not let me drive. And I kid you not, every day we were almost in an actual accident. But you know what's really cool about Naomi mm. is that she's the best parallel parker. Yeah, she's the best parallel parker because she doesn't care if she hits your car or her car. Because she's reckless. Correct. She just has this confidence that it'll be fine. Which I've is kind of amazing. Never driven on the wrong side of the road more in my life <laughs> than with her. The same thing happened when I went on a trip to Chicago with her too. Wasn't there actually like a story that you were telling yeah, about getting we, in an accident with her? We were going down an icy mountain, going maybe 80, downhill, like back and forth mountain road. And then the car starts to fishtail. I had already accepted I was dying on that mountain. <laughs> Um, so I stopped trying to reason with her and I was literally just sitting there and <laughs> I can't think. And <laughs> <laughs> what? Just finish the story. I know. I want to say, um, it helps me think. And we started fishtailing left and right. <laughs> and she came to a stop and started started to cry i was like do you oh, want she got scared she felt bad i think because we i kept saying we're gonna wreck and she said we're fine and That's then scary. she pulled over to the side of the road and let me drive just for that day <laughs> the rest of the days it went back to how it was but this whole time there was another person in the car her yeah. friend was in the back seat yeah just chilling chilling she said nothing i, I, I could have used some backup i could see that like two voices saying Slow down. Hey, I feel like I'm in danger. I would say that. I'm like, we're going to get in a wreck. And then we almost did. We almost died on a mountain. So I broke up with her. That's true. That's also true. Um, in the middle of a car wreck. No, it was at the end of the trip. Do you want me to keep telling stories? Or do you want to tell me about Europe or your trip to Japan? Or have you ever been anywhere? You can I'm tell them about of, Outer Banks. I'm trying to think of any story I can tell specifically. You and Sue's almost getting abducted in Japan. Oh my God. That's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> I was either going to tell that story or the one of one of Ali and I's Airbnb hosts. Mm -hmm. Luca? Yeah. I uh, have more stories. I'll tell the one of Sue's and I getting abducted. I like that one. Okay, Suze, my friend Suze and I went to Japan for just a week, and it was our second to last night. We were out in just some shopping areas, and these three girls came up to us who seemed like they were from Japan, and they came up to us like, hey, are you traveling here? And we were like, yeah. And they were like, oh, cool. And they were kind of asking us some questions about traveling and what we're getting into. And they're like, you know what you want to meet for a meal tomorrow? And we were like, okay. Like, we can show you some spots, not a big deal. We were like, okay. And they seemed just like really personable, fine. So we meet at this place. I was a little hesitant to meet them. One, because I was just exhausted from traveling. And two, it was our last night. But we went to this fast food place where I didn't eat anything. Because it was just like all hamburgers and I'm a vegetarian. Where was it? 
some fast food. It was like Your felt trip like, was weird. It felt like McDonald's, but it wasn't McDonald's. It was in like we ordered at this little desk and ate in the basement of the place. Like all the seating was in the basement. This pencil. Um, so we're sitting at the table. They're all talking to us. They're asking us questions. We're asking them questions. They're being really friendly. And then all of a sudden, they were like, "Are you religious?" And Suze was like. I'm Christian all the way, which is a lie. She, I mean, she was raised Christian, but doesn't practice. And I just said, nope, which is my bad. <laughs> That's not your bad. So they turn to me and show me a picture of someone getting picked up out of a flood from a helicopter. And they're like, Japan sinking. The only way to save you is to worship Buddha. Japan will sink. Japan will have earthquakes. Japan will sink. Buddha, worship Buddha. This is your only way uh seek redemption what is that what is that uh, forgiveness, forgiveness redemption yeah. repent yeah repent and i was like you know what i'm not interested um you know what <laughs> you know what i'm not interested i very explicitly was like no uh no you're actually terrifying me and you keep showing me this picture of someone drowning so i'm gonna go big no and then they were like you know what never mind you want to go check out a shrine and she was like okay and i was like no okay which they clearly mistook for okay so Suze and i walk with them to the train station like we just got to go a couple stops down and i was like i am not getting on this train Suze. i'm not getting on it and Suze turns to me she's like five eight or nine and she's a pretty big build like much bigger than strong much bigger than anyone in japan Mm -hmm. like she towered over everyone and has bright purple hair she's like i don't if i was anyone if i was those three girls i would have been scared of Suze. Mm mm-hmm um and she was like lee don't worry about it everyone has our locations um i'm bigger than all of them if anything comes down to it i was like there's going to be men there there's going to be dudes ready to abduct us at the shrine it's our last night i'm trying to go home not be abducted in japan Suze. and she was like on the train let's get it and i was like okay <laughs> i guess i have to go on the train because i'm not staying in this train station alone we get on the train i'm actually terrified Suze gets on her phone and sends her location to you she sent it to Maybe, you? Maybe, I don't know. She sent it to someone. I thought it was you. If not, like, so one of just one of our friends. Not a parent. No one, you know, real. I just, think it was me. Just a buddy. And then I, I looked at her. I was like, you're that scared that you have to send our location mm-hmm. to James? Why are we on this train? We get to the shrines, this little thing. And then I was just like, you know what? I'm going to throw up. We were in the shrine. And I was like, I'm going to throw up and poop my pants. I have to go. It was nighttime. <laughs> it was night. We got off at the station. Nobody sees a shrine at night. It was quiet. It was just like a little, like, tiny shrine. Like, there was no building. It was just like a little nook, like a little garden. Yeah, like, why would you be there? Exactly. And every other stop we'd been to was bustling, like, city, Tokyo, you know? Mm -hmm. We get off at the station. I'm already scared because it's dead silent and dark. And I was like, I'm going to poop my pants and throw up. I must be leaving. And they were like... We have some buddies on the street. They have medicine. Yeah. (laughs) And I was like, no, that's not going to do it. Like, I'm bursting at the seams. And they're like, medicine right down the street. Come along with us. Don't worry about it. And I was like, I'm leaving. I decide to turn around. Suits follows me. And the girls follow us. And they're enraged. They're mad. And they're like, we have medicine down the street. Just follow us. And I was like, no. We get to the station and they are trying to convince us to stay. They're trying, to, they're messaging us on the app we were talking to them on. We eventually just got on the train and they were all standing there watching the train leave pissed. Well, yeah, because you ruined their plan. Yeah. So I literally think I was going to get abducted and I don't know, maybe they were trafficking us. Maybe they had been trafficked and if they don't bring back someone something bad might happen to them do you that story sounds like all those stories i listened to mm-hmm. it's, it sounds exactly like that. i was shaking yeah when i was telling them i was gonna throw up yeah gosh i wouldn't i don't think i would have got that far i don't even think i did that story justice like i don't really remember what they were saying to me in the restaurant like they were saying crazy stuff crazy they were so mad right when they got mad Suze was like no yeah you're not getting mad yeah (laughs) yeah why would you be mad unless unless well that sounds terrifyingly 
yeah, so please watch out. Um, I'm ha- scared from that experience, and I hope it never happens to me again or anyone else. Yeah. Um, can I talk about when I went to Japan? Please. I also went to Japan, and my trip was nothing like Lee's trip. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the complete opposite of her trip. My trip was good besides that, and Sue's getting sick. Sue's getting sick. But um, I went for <clears throat> two weeks. And I went with my girlfriend at the time, Naomi, who almost killed me on that mountain. Same one? Yep, same one. Uh, She was born in Michigan, but then when she was like six months old, went back to Japan. She's Japanese and grew up there until she was like 13. So she spoke Japanese. She could read it, write it, which is great if you're going to visit a foreign country, especially if you don't know Japanese. Good point. Yeah. Um, so I was there for two weeks. We went to Tokyo to start and we went to every single shrine I feel like ever made. Me and Naomi are also big walkers. So we walked everywhere, 20 to 25,000 steps a day, just walking to every single shrine on the planet and eating all the yummy food that you can think of. We didn't eat any regular food. We had only not fancy food, but like we paid a little extra for everything. I got to go to Nara, which is like a deer place, I guess. It's like outside of... It's outside of... Uh, it's like a deer place. There's a lot of deer that just hang out and you can feed them or pet them. They're just there. Yeah. They're like people, but deer. Yeah. And there's really old shrines. I think I saw the biggest statue of wooden statue of buddha in the world it was really big i also learned when i was in japan their idea of warfare back in the day was just to burn down each other's cities so a lot of the old buildings that were like wood are just gone until they started using like i don't know bricks or whatever they used and then i went i thought you meant what i thought you meant bricks as weapons (laughs) no instead of fire no the building materials (laughs) I was like, what? He's not even laughing. He doesn't yeah. even think it's a joke. Because uh, it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> I do remember we we saw a sh- not a shrine. It was like a outpost, like a watchtower, mm-hmm. and it had holes in the bottom that overlooked the like if you you could climb the wall and it had holes. It almost looked like you could climb in that way. And Naomi made a joke. She's like, yeah, so you could shoot people when they were trying to invade. And then like five minutes later, the person's like, anybody know what those are for? It is to drop rocks on people in case Mm. people invade. Bricks. Yeah. More bricks. Um, Go ahead. I said, um. I know. I've been waiting till after it passes because it distracts you. Yeah, I got it. Um, (laughs) (laughs) So... (laughs) I was in Nara for maybe like one day and then her family's from Sapporo. So I was there for a week. I got to eat all of the yummy food. The sushi there is outrageously cheap and outrageously good. You can't relate, can you? Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, The sushi would... (laughs) Don't worry about it. Anyway, I ate a bunch of really good food in Sapporo, and I went to, oh, people, this will be a funny story. I went to a hot spring with her family. So, like, her, her parents, and her brother. Uh, we all her went to- Her brother was there. I didn't know that. Um, he, he didn't go in the hot spring, but he was eating with us. Maybe he was a mirage. No, he's real. His name wasn't Mirage. Anyway, we went to a hot spring. It was like a hotel, but it was like a natural volcano hot spring. So everything smelled like sulfur. And at a hot spring, you go into the hot spring. And they're just split up between men and women. So I went with her dad to the hot spring. That so doesn't count. That's how the conversation (laughs) works. It was in the middle. It's my tally, not yours. Okay. But yeah, we went to the hot spring and I went with her dad <laughs> and... You're just replacing it with and. Yeah. And... 
you don't get to wear any clothes when you go in a hot you don't spring. You get to? Nope. They, uh, you go there and there's like a little pre-shower area and there's like a post-shower area. And when you go in there, you get a towel. I mean, like this kind of towel, a little towel. A washcloth. Yes. Just for putting on your head or doing whatever. Um, which was, I wasn't nervous at all, actually. Um, I was a little worried about how it would all go, but then immediately once we were there, got naked and got in there, I was like, whatever. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is naked too. So like, yeah, it's whatever. The only difference is I'm a white dude. Yeah. So I do stand out because I just don't look like everybody. And we got in the hot spring and we just chilled. We talked about earthquakes because her dad is a seismologist. He's the like lead dude for Japan something to do with earthquakes he would like talk on the news for when there's big earthquakes and he's like the go-to guy but it was fun the hot springs were good also if they had hot springs here in ohio i would go i don't think it's weird anymore and i think it was really fun and it's just nice i went to a hot spring in alaska and wore a swimsuit that's not the real deal (laughs) the real deal is you have to be naked and then you sit on a little stool afterwards and wash yourself with a bucket. They had like these stalls with a mirror. And then like, you know, the little stools that they put in the showers and I've stuff. I've seen a lot in animes. Um, you sit on that and you have like shampoo, conditioner, and like a bucket. Mm-hmm. And you fill up the bucket and like... You ever seen that in animes? No. I've seen it so many times. Like like uh, the shower places or... Them like... washing themselves on a stool with a bucket and everything uh in the house i've seen it yeah that's okay. also how their house was their house also had one of those little bathtubs though that's a square and it's just kind of deep mm-hmm. and you just sit in it like a little ball also everything in japan i am tall i had people taking pictures of me on the train secretly though people take pictures of Sue's. yeah i would have people taking pictures of me and like occasionally i would just hear the camera go off and i'm like okay uh, I would have to duck through doorways in her parents' like apartment building thing. I guess it's not that exciting for everybody else. I really like cars, so I saw a bunch of cool cars over there. Cars that we just didn't get and still don't get, like new cars that we don't get. And I went to a bunch of places that are like used car shops like for used performance parts, which we don't have here. It's like what all car guys want to go see when they go to Japan, so I saw a bunch of that too. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, I'd have more to say if I'd never heard all that information before, but I've heard it a lot of times. Um, even though Naomi spoke Japanese and could read it, still got lost all the time. She just had this confidence in what she's doing. It would happen here, too. She just wouldn't read signs, though. Like, we went into a place, and in English, it said, no cash, or something like that. So we're looking around, buying stuff. And she goes to pay, and I already had assumed she had not read it, so I had my card ready. No. They couldn't take my card. Anyway, she just wouldn't read signs, and there was one time we were waiting for a train. We waited like 30 minutes in this one spot. Like, you can wait here or here. We were over here. No train ever came. On this side, trains were coming and going all the time. And then she finally went to read it again. She's like, "Uh uh-oh. That was our train. And that was the last one. I forget what we ended up doing. I think we walked to a different station or something. But that would happen a lot on all the trips. Like Chicago, it happened a lot. Denver, Japan. I don't mind. You don't? No, I'm pretty tolerant. Hmm. What are you doing? I think I have a list of things from Europe that happened on my phone. Yeah, Lee, how long were you in Europe? I was in Europe for three weeks. Days. (laughs) Oh, I have it. (laughs) Yeah, because three weeks is a long time. You're going to tell me nothing happened? I have to read through all these before I know what I want to say. That's fine. Are you okay? (laughs) I don't know if like any of them will make sense though. Try it. Okay. She has like 20 of them. No, there's more than that. Oh my gosh. (laughs) I didn't want to forget anything. And it worked. Okay. Um, 
So Ali and I took a tour. We were in Italy. We were going from, I think, Rome to Capri. Capri is like a island off of Italy where there's like big rock mountain things in the middle of the ocean with the blue, blue water and the little buildings and the skinny roads that go up it. Like those magical Italian things you see. So we had to take a boat ride there and we were on this like ferry type boat and we were sitting behind this lady and the windows of this boat were just like coated in salt water. You could barely see out of them. The view was just fogged up and covered in little dots of dried water. This lady had her iPad out the whole time filming outside of this dirty window. And even if the window was clean, the view was not not that great it was like barges and some posts in the water and then just open water sounds like something i do <laughs> she filmed it the whole time on her ipad for like an hour Ugh. an hour okay and then we get to this island which is so cute and we get in this skinny little bus because the streets are so skinny so the bus is like the size of a smart car the width Mm. that's an exaggeration but like it's a skinny bus but it's a bus it's a bus like there's two seats in one and a tiny little aisle you can walk down but Whoa. it's as skinny as it can get so we're in this bus we're on this tour we start driving up the mountain and you get so close to the cars next to you they're driving and there's curves and you can't see around them like you're like a foot apart maybe maybe like i could have chopped my hand off if i stuck it out the window at all so the tour guide was like, so this road is called a Mamma Mia because when you pass the mm. cars on the other side of the street, it's so close and you go Mamma Mia. And Allie looks at me like a minute later and she just wasn't listening. She doesn't always listen. And she said, is this where Mamma Mia was filmed? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no, this is just what the streets called. And she looked at me perplexed like, well, doesn't that mean the movie was filmed How here? could it be named this and not be after the movie? So that was a fun little story. And then another time we were at the Sistine Chapel. Mm. And the Sistine Chapel was so crowded. I would not go back there at the time we went. I don't know what time of day, but like you couldn't see anything. All you could do was breathe body odor. <laughs> so we get through there. And then to get out of the Sistine Chapel, there's like hallways of just like crowded people. Like going through hallways. I mean, they're beautiful, but it's still so crowded. You just kind of want to get out. But it there's like pillars. And in between the pillars, there's tapestries. Old mm. tapestries. And Allie turns to me and says, great, more rugs. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> so those are the two that I read that I thought were really funny. At one point, Allie and I were walking in the streets of Rome, and a lady comes up to Allie, gets like an inch away from her face, shakes her shoulders, and says, can you tell me where the nearest supermarket is? And Allie just froze. Frozen, didn't answer. And then I said, it's, it's over there. And then the lady was like, thank you. And Allie wiped spit off her face. She didn't like oh. that. Um, one night, we saw a couple on a bike that was made for one, and then they crashed immediately. Oh. <laughs> In my mind, I was like, that's cute. Nope. They were goners. <laughs> goners. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I only got sick. Ew. <laughs> Why? She looks poofy. She always puts tissues in her nostrils when she gets sick. Six. Bye. I don't want to read the rest of them. You want to just move on to the reviews? Yeah. So something I like to do is to read reviews for places, not just like stores, but like parks. This is what you tell people on dates? And monuments. So what do you like to do? Yeah. Ah, I like to read reviews. I also like to read Amazon reviews. People write the funniest stuff. But since we're talking about traveling today, I screenshot some reviews i typically will look at the one star reviews just because it's easier to find good ones without having to read a million uh the first place i looked up was gateway arch in st louis i've never been there neither have i it's that huge arch just like made out, i don't know yeah, made yeah. Out of cement st louis missouri mm -hmm. missouri i don't know is it yeah i think, I think so. i've driven by it i don't think i've even been close 
My favorite reviews are when people write a really good review, but they accidentally put one star. I like those <laughs> ones. Um, and I also like when people do one stars and just write a personal problem that is in no like control. not a review. Doesn't like, pertain yeah. to what they're writing the review for. Those are my two faves. Okay, let's see what I, I screenshot. Catherine said, one star. Wonderful, nice, and great experience. I enjoyed taking the tram to see the top of the arch. One star. So what was the bad part? <laughs> <laughs> Ellie gives the gateway arch one star. I was supposed to go for spring break, but then COVID interfered, sad face. So this person got on the internet, <laughs> went to Google or whatever that's on, and left a review. And was like down with COVID, but it's the arch's fault. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I feel like COVID should have a one star review, Me not too. the arch. That's like, I was going to go to the arch. I decided I didn't want to. One star. <laughs> Literally. I love this. It's not the arch's fault. Okay. Jenny says one star three months ago. Not impressed with their burgers, was not beef, and not sure what it was. The arch? <laughs> Yeah. I don't know if there's a restaurant there. I would assume not. From the pictures, it doesn't look like it. it sounds doesn't... like she just went to the closest burger place and <laughs> was like, I could see the arch from here. It does. <laughs> or like maybe the restaurant didn't have a place to review. She's like, someone has to know. So there's also people who write reviews that think they're just funny. Like I look, mm. also looked up the Washington Monument, which is just that tall point. That pillar. It's like an obs, obs or something. Oh, it's like obelisk. Yeah, something it's like that. obelisk. And everyone's like, too tall. Or they write, doesn't look anything like George Washington. Zero out of ten. And like, there's a lot like that. And it's just so many that it's not funny to me anymore. Though I do think I screenshot at least one that was supposed to be intentionally funny. I don't know when it's going to come up. Here's one. This is one that's intentionally funny. Look at how this is, how this is written. I, this is for the Washington Monument. Are we going to put this on the podcast? Yeah. Okay, good. I have to for this one. Yeah. So this one's one star. They say, too tall. Couldn't see the very disappointed. Also, someone tried to get me to buy something. So the other funny part to me is there is a really big campaign for people to subscribe to PewDiePie. And it says sub, sub to, to PewDiePie. PewDiePie. Yeah. Yeah. So that's one of the ones that I think was intentionally funny. Yeah. I like that, though. Um, this is another one for the Washington Monument. Joseph says, one star. Every time I rotate my photos of this place to the right or left, it looks the same. I can't get a good angle. <laughs> First off, I thought he meant rotating the picture on his phone. That's what I thought. But I think but he's, he's talking. Like going like this. Yeah. So, Whoops. sorry, Joseph. I wish he could have got a good picture like everyone else. Or what if he's talking about when you walk around it? Maybe he's talking about like right when you're right next to it yeah that would make sense bert says one star hurt my neck looking up at it so narrow its shadow doesn't stay long in one spot for shade <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. one could be intentionally funny but this person also has 22 photos on all their reviews um so i hate it when shadows don't stay in place so do i like Gosh. can the monument please control the sun there were a few reviews that had just funny pictures on them, but I didn't want to save and screenshot all the pictures. Like some people write really nice reviews and then they take hilarious pictures. Uh, on purpose or not? Uh, not on purpose. Okay, the next place I looked up was the Sydney Opera House. Mm. I think this one was supposed to be intentionally funny. This is by Ego. They gave it one star. They said, the stairs tasted like peas and corn. <laughs> if I ever had a picture of them licking the stairs. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. This is a one-star review from three years ago from Eden. Looks better. No, it says look better in YouTube videos and movies. But they did add a photo. Also, why is that so iconic? Uh, I guess the architecture. Hmm. It looks huge. Yeah. Hunter says one star. I took my wife here. She bit me. Oh, poor Hunter. Sorry, Hunter. Maybe you shouldn't go hunting. No, his name's Hunter. Travis says, one star two years ago. Looked very cool from the outside, but all they did was singing shows made me want to jump in water. <laughs> <laughs> all they do is sing. I'm swimming. <laughs> I gotta go swimming. I 
I don't know if this is the next place. Yeah, it is. Okay, the next place I looked up was Easter Island. This is the last place I looked up. The one with the heads. There was an interesting thing about the Easter Island reviews. There's someone named Felipe, and everyone is writing reviews about him as if he's dangerous. But they all know his name. Like multiple tons of Watch out for Felipe? Yes. I screenshotted a bunch of them. Okay, so Abdul says, one star. There's other beautiful places rather than this place. Gosh. <laughs> that sounds like you think you're going to get a dog, but you're never going no, to. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> um, I don't know how to say this person's name. Can I tell you? I'll tell you how. The Rituraj? Rit- Rit- Rituraj. Okay, they give it one star. They said, Felipe asked for ticket. Felipe is bad. Okay. There's something we don't know. Luke says one star warning. Felipe never left and he is still there. He will not stop following you no matter how far or fast you run. If you see him, then you are already dead. Beware of Felipe. Mm, now that one sounds like a joke. Well, so there's something about somebody named Felipe, like urban legend wise or mm-hmm. something like that, like ghost or I'm going to have to look into that. John says one star. You might be taken advantage of because you're a tourist in a remote location. Beware of Felipe. But all these people are giving one star and mentioning something. How do you spell Felipe? Nautica says one star. Is Felipe still there? If so, unsafe. There's something. That's not. Jake on. says one star. Felipe kept asking for my ticket. Aiden says one star. Be careful. Felipe is out there. <laughs> Denzel says one star, a man named Felipe with I need your ticket syndrome will try to scam Taurus here. Beware, guys. The next review is five stars. It said, oh, I'm sorry. There's a YouTube video. Okay. Felipe is a crazy park ranger there. Okay. That answers it. It's probably that guy. There were people who were like, check out my YouTube video. This place is terrible. Yeah, this has 1.2 million views. Okay. My worst travel experience. Yeah, there were a few people who linked a YouTube video and they were like, watch the video, I don't need to write anything. One star. Okay. Yeah. So Felipe is a park ranger. But it also has five stars and it says, it have these really cool faces. It do have those really cool faces. Mm-hmm. Bella gave it four stars. They said, Easter Island is wonderful. So many beautiful statues. But I have put four stars because it it's so dry there. Oh, <laughs> you mean weather? <laughs> it looks beautiful. Doesn't it? That's the last one also, I Also, Easter Island's a weird place. It is a weird place. That's the one where I was like, we could tell a story about this. Oh, for sure. But then again, I don't know the story. We'd have to look it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we could just make one up. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people tried to write things like Easter Bunny wasn't there, zero out of ten stars. My daughter was begging to go here, no Easter Bunny, no no happy, she cry. What would you write? What would what would your review be? Hmm. I would write how'd they get here? Five stars. Yeah, I'd do one star. I'd already seen this in the books. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Five stars. Would use as my desktop background. Two stars. I've already seen it on there. Three stars. Is this where the emoji came from? Is it an emoji? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Never used it. Okay. Would you ever be interested in going on a cruise? You know what's funny? Nope. You weren't there for Thanksgiving. Eric went on a cruise and told me, if I do anything in my life, make sure I go at least on one cruise. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. I feel like the people who go on cruises get brainwashed and then they try to sell cruises to everyone else. So once he explained it to me, I was like, I need to go on a cruise. Um, you can go for dirt cheap. Like he's like, the one I went on was a pretty good cruise. And I was like, okay, let me see how much cruises cost. And like the cruise carnival people that you've heard of apparently are not very good. And you can go for really cheap. And I think that'd be funny. Mm -hmm. because like the crowd you're going to be with the way the boat is the way the shows are the way the food is it's just all entertaining in a weird way you're on a boat and it's like non-stop things happening you're on a boat with this weird schedule and you're on the ocean and there's bars everywhere and there's magicians singers shows casinos buffet pools shuffleboard yeah 
and just everything's going on every day and like i think i looked it up for two people to go on this five-day trip like and see like two or three different islands was like five hundred dollars for two people what five-day trip do you think it's cheap because no one wants to go on cruises it's cheap right now because nobody wants to go on cruises in covid so like they they haven't been doing them recently and now they're getting back into it and to get people on they need to charge a certain on price board. yeah to get them on board <laughs> um yeah i would go do a cruise interesting and he made it sound he sounded like he really enjoyed it i think it'd just be funny and ironic i can't imagine me enjoying that in but, any way but you also get to go to places i don't even like hotels i think it'd be like a motel in the ocean with events so it sounds like I'd be trapped in a motel. I don't, the way you are, I don't think you're set up for it. I don't think so either. I think you have to be very flexible to dirty rooms, bad food, you know? Yeah, I have a particular food. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably end up just eating apples or something. Yeah, I think I could, I think I could thrive. I think I would hate. Yeah, I think you would Besides hate Besides being it. able to like get fresh air and... Uh, the five hundred dollars one was like the ocean view ones too. There's cheaper ones, like oh. in the boat where you don't get windows. Oh gosh. Yeah. I'm not going in that room. Yeah. Okay. That's I'd a, definitely go. Please leave it in the comments below if you've ever been on a cruise. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah. I, I want to. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. Has there ever been a trip where you were surprised that you liked it? I was surprised. Where you were like, I don't really want to go, and you got there, and you're like, oh. Okay. I'm sure there are. I'm trying to think. I don't know for sure, though. I'm always kind of down to go on a trip mm -hmm. to almost anything. Maybe certain family trips up to Akron or Lake Erie. Maybe I just didn't want to go, and I'm happy I did afterwards. Usually I get that feeling when it's just something a lot smaller. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, you said you'd go to this party, and I'm like, I don't want to go. And then you go, and you're like, I'm glad I went. Yeah. Uh, usually for trips though, no, I've gone on trips that end up being bad, but I personally agree to trips and then it comes right before the trip and I'm like, I could go without, and yeah. then I go and I'm like, why would I go without when I could have gone? Yeah. Uh, I think I get a little bit of FOMO when it comes to trips. Yeah. Like I can handle any trip. Mm hmm. You could ship me off in a box to like Nevada. Nevada. I've been there. Is it good? Yeah. See, I'd like that. Okay. <laughs> I would like anywhere. You know how you go to places and you're like, I can live here. Where can't you live? We talked about this. On uh, the podcast? Uh, I don't know if it was on the podcast. There were certain spots when we took the back roads to Outer Banks mm. where I was like, I cannot live here. It's too, like there's 20 houses no store like that kroger if that was your kroger oh my goodness we went into a kroger it was tiny mm -hmm. and it felt like it had nothing i wanted. it had nothing it had none of like the second choice it was like healthy alternative choices it was just kroger from 95 next to cvs from 94 like mm -hmm. the, the years those are years not like highways or something thank you yeah um yeah i'm gonna throw another um on there sure <laughs> You where wanna... where would you move to? Asheville, Asheville, North Carolina. Not Asheville? Yeah. I don't know this for sure. I think I would like... How would you know for sure if you've never lived there anyways? As in, I've never even visited this place. Uh, I think I would like... Atlantis. What's it called? Like the Pacific West Coast? Like Northern... Pacific North Washington West. State. Pacific Northwest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up there. Yeah. I think I would like that. I think, I I think like I'd it. like that a lot. And then drive south if you need to and like the ocean and big trees and mm -hmm. yeah, mountains. I think a lot of people crave that area. I think it's expensive. Maybe. Maybe. We should go. That's all my questions. Okay. What well, do you want? Where would you live? I want to say something different from you. Okay. Go ahead. But... I feel like I don't know the place where I would live. Like, I can envision it, but I don't know what it is. Describe it. It's like lakes, mountains, and not too cold. You heard of Asheville, North Carolina? Right. <laughs> but I don't want to say Asheville. Yeah, I get that. Like, maybe somewhere in Montana. I don't know. Is it cold there? 
I think so. I think so. Leave it in the so comments north. below if you're in Montana. I've heard such good things about Montana. Um, my dad used to live in Missouri. I think he also lived in Montana. And there's such pretty pictures from then. But there's so many places like that that are beautiful, but also would have the Kroger and CVS that we were just talking Correct. about. So yeah. I don't know where I'm actually capable of living. Okay, cool. Yep. What are you grateful for? I am grateful for socks. <laughs> This brings me back to my Favorite pit. socks, yeah. I just really enjoy the process of picking out my pair of socks for the day. It's very mood-based for me. Um, whatever. I'm, will you screenshot and stuff? Something important come up? I screenshotted it because I thought I would remember it, but it was a screenshot of my notes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I took a mental screenshot. But I took a physical <laughs> screenshot on my phone for my notes. It literally is a screenshot of my notes. Yeah, I mean, I like socks. Your turn. One of mine was, um, this is really vague, uh, just thoughts. <laughs> uh, oh, no, so I guess I should say the ability to think and problem solve internally, which can help you avoid situations and also make your life better. I'm thankful for the ability to do that. But in general, thoughts, I'm very thankful for those and the fact but that, that i have boils them down to just thoughts correct uh maybe cognitive ability and problem solving <laughs> i'm grateful for those as i try to figure out how to say this i'm grateful for the vacuum we have oh that's a good vacuum we have a wireless vacuum it's a dyson it's yours it's the lowest dyson you can get the cheapest one i think i got it on sale too yeah lee's rich it rips i oh. would buy that thing over and over and over lee won't turn it on to super mode though it's too loud she only leaves it on the regular mode why do i need it on super mode i've used it once or twice it rips when you use it on super mode it cuts down the time it will stay charged by half and i vacuum for a long time okay it's 30 minutes on normal, and then on the high mode, it's only 15. Seems worth it. Not to me. Either way, I love it. Was that yours? Yeah. Okay. Well, I can't remember mine, so. Oh, my gosh. Maybe oh. just check your screenshot. Um, this is also vague, but also good. Um, friends. Hold on. The show? No. Not the show. It's just that I have friends. Lee's my friend. You are. We talked about this on our walk. We don't know who our best friends would be if we weren't each other's best friends. But I assume we'd have to find one, you know? Yeah, I told you, Jay that I was your best friend. He said, you know that for sure. And I said, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but how can you know for sure? <laughs> and literally, he doesn't hang out with anybody. So I kind of have to be. <laughs> Frick. Can you get that? Yeah. If I get it, I'd have to lay in your lap. Yeah, it's fine. But um, <laughs> friends in general, Lee being my friend, new friends, old friends, um, people to talk to. Future friends. Imagine, yeah, future friends. Sometimes I get excited that I'm going to have future friends. Yeah. Um, I think it's good. And it's also hard to find people that you want to be friends with, mm -hmm. I think. So when you do have them, it's good. And if you can talk to them, even better. My last thing is climbing. I'm glad that I've picked up climbing. When I first started, I was started it pretty much as a joke, but it's really helped me mentally and physically be able to get exercise while still having fun and not just feeling like it's a workout. And it gives me time to get out of my studio for actually a pretty long time and off my phone and hang out with friends and exercise and problem solve. I don't know what you would do if you weren't climbing. Yeah, what did I used to do? CrossFit. Yeah, but I'd do that in the morning for an hour, and then what? I don't know. Video games? Video games? No, you say it again. Ew. Video games? Video games? Why? Why do you want me to do that? It's getting dark. We really have to wrap it up. Okay. And then my last one is my well-being. Um, I've been on this planet for almost 30 years now. Go ahead. Do your worst. I don't even care. I've um, missed so many. <laughs> I've been on this planet for almost 30 years. And pretty much overall, I feel really good. Uh, I have been sleepy and a little foggy, but I'm working on that. But my hand... Can't be lead poisoning. My hearing's really good. My eyesight's really good. My hands don't hurt. My feet don't hurt when I stand for a long time. 
My knees don't hurt until I started helping Lee. It's her fault. Like my back feels a little weird right now, but I can still work out. I can still lift heavy and I can do, I, I can do physical activity. Like I can rock climb. I can run. I can work out. I can go biking. I can help move furniture. I can go up and down the steps. I can walk to my car. I can drive my car. Like there's, I can do, I'm able-bodied. Do you know what that means? Mm-hmm. I'm an athlete. Wait, what do we do after this? That's it. That's it. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> I didn't do anything yet. You said, um, did I? Oh, okay. Um, Leave it in the comments below if you also say, um, all the time. Leave it in the comments below if you started on YouTube years ago and realized how much you said, um, and then tried to control it. Leave it in the comments below if you're trying to just get through the day mentally and then somebody sits next to you and starts counting how many times you say um when they know you struggle with talking in general i'm a mumbly jumbly mess i need more (laughs) d3 and b16 in my life you are not mumbly and jumbly you don't think so you're just jumbly i'm just umbly Mm -hmm. unbelievable leave a comment below if you've ever listened to music I I put in my Instagram bio now that I love music. It says, I love music with this. And that will be it. Thank you so much for watching or listening to our podcast. I'm Lee Alex. Do you think that's funny at this all? This is James Heishman. We are the Yeah, Maybe podcast. You can listen to us on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and something else. There's something else? Spotify. 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 Mm-hmm. If you are feeling generous, leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. It does something, and we love stars. Who doesn't love stars? Only those people who left all those places one star about their personal problems, those people don't care about stars. We're happy to have you here. We hope you're having a good one. I hope you're drinking enough water. Do good out there without us telling you to because I ran out of ideas, so DIY. Bye-bye. Um... Can you do an impression of Captain Jack Sparrow? Well, hold on. Did, did we tell them to like the video? Like the video, subscribe to our channel, hit go. that bell if you really care. And, and also, if you don't care, go ahead and click the bell too. Also, tell everybody you've ever met that we have a podcast. Yeah. Please. Oh, Jack Sparrow? Mm-hmm. Captain Jack Sparrow. Where's the rum? Okay, and that will be the podcast. Thanks again for coming. We love each and every one of you equally. That's not true. It was a nice thought. Uh, Bye. The sun is setting and it looks beautiful. Goodbye, everybody. Fare thee well. This is our last podcast. Same joke every week, baby. That's not the same joke every week. Same joke every week, baby. Come back for more next week. Monday at noon, we premiere on YouTube. Be there, be circular. Yep. <laughs>